Hello, I'm Nadine Davis and I'm your instructor for this uh, upcoming semester. Most of you have probably uh, enrolled in English 262 because it's a humanities credit. Some of you may be here because you're interested in the subject matter. No matter what, I'm glad you're here and I think you'll find that the class is very interesting. First of all, there I am looking cleaned up with my hair short. Don't have the um, camera on for you to look at me right now because uh, my hair's not cut. <laughs> you can call me Prof. Nadine or Prof. Davis or Professor Nadine, Professor Davis, whatever you would like. I'm introducing you to Abby and Spencer, who you'll hear barking in videos. If I stopped every time my puppies barked, I'd never get a video made, and the information is for, uh, is important for you. The only time I really do stop videos is when my husband interrupts me. Um, I think it's nice to know the credentials of the person that's teaching you. I have a BA from Michigan State University in English, an MAT from Saginaw Valley in the teaching of English, and a PhD in instructional design for online learning from Capella University. I also have taken various workshops and in-services on the Holocaust in the past 30 years. There are some important documents that I'm going to want you to look at when you get to the course site, and we will be reviewing the course site in this um, recording. Um, the things that you need to watch for are the syllabus. Please read that thoroughly. Look at the course outcomes and objectives. Look at the odds and ends document in there, which kind of is a play-by-play -play of how to get started in the uh, class. And look at my plagiarism policy. In um, the past couple years, I have had to fail people for plagiarizing. I do not want that to happen this semester. It's very important that you read everything carefully. Read everything at least twice. If you're not sure what it says, read it aloud carefully. Um, if you have questions about the directions, about the uh, what's required of you, about those kinds of things, please uh, place it in the raise your hand form. You need to ask questions if you don't understand something. I can't see your faces to know if you are confused. So please put it in the raise your hand form and I'll show you that on the uh, course site uh, rather than emailing me separately. It's very important you put it there so everybody sees the answers to the questions. Monitor that form. Look every time to see if there's something there. Now, the keys to the course are mutual respect, negotiation, and compromise. And respect is very important, and I must say that that's the key to the course. Respecting me by having assignments in on time. Respecting your classmates by reading what they have to say and responding thoughtfully to it. Working in your groups to meet the deadlines so that your projects are turned in on time. These are all the things that you're going to need to do, especially in the groups, neg negotiation and compromise. This is so important, and I do do group work, and some of you might be groaning. Um, I grade group work differently than I grade other work. You will get whatever point value it is for the um, actual project and you will also receive a participation grade based on your activity at your group discussion board and a uh, survey that you will be taking on your classmates. Now I will average those two grades together and you'll end up with a grade. Due dates. Assignments are due every Saturday. Um, each assignment builds on the next, and no late work is accepted. We cannot have late work if we're working in groups. We cannot have late work if we're talking on the discussion board. If you don't get your posts up, then there's no discussion at all. Now, after the first three weeks, assignments are due in two-week periods, but again, assignments are due every Saturday. 
The only exception is if we have a large group discussion and you will be then required to have your first post in quickly so that you can discuss the uh, post throughout the week. In your groups, you will probably need to work throughout the week to meet the Saturday deadline. All group work is in two-week intervals. Now for the course site, some things that I want to talk about before we get there. I'm available. This information is on the syllabus, but I'm highlighting it so that I don't read you the syllabus, okay? Um, I hope you can, you will, uh, read the syllabus carefully. I am available by appointment. I will not be in my office regularly this semester. I work from home. I am a full-time instructor, but for various reasons, I am allowed to keep my office in my home. You can call me at my cell phone, but please respect that number and limit the calls to normal Delta business hours. You can text me at any time. Please put your questions about the course and raise your hand. The only time you'll be contacting me by email or text or phone is if it's a personal problem or I have instructed you to do so. Required books. Night, The World Must Know, and The Nightingale. And the required films that you can either purchase or you can rent or you can maybe catch on Netflix or some other uh, online streaming service, Schindler's List, The Book Thief, and Secret Lives. Um, attendance is very important. If you miss two-fifteenths of the course, it equals your drop from the course. Two-fifteenths is two weeks worth of work. If you miss the first week of class, your drop from the course. That means that you viewed this video, but for some reason you don't do the assignments, and you'll be dropped. It's that simple. Respect, as I said before, is very, very important in this class. Mutual respect for working in groups, for discussing things on the discussion board, to talking to me about a grade, everything is revolves around respect. First of all, one of the big key things of respect is being punctual. That means no late work. And late work is, is just unacceptable because you're going to have to have what you've, um, your group needs in on time. You're going to have to discuss things on time. Um, I, can't, I can't emphasize that enough. I don't take things late. And it's just, as I said, respectful to each other to honor those deadlines. Also, respectful language. I haven't had anybody use disrespectful language in years. But I have this feeling if I ever take it off the syllabus, it'll happen. Now let's go to the course site. You will see a page similar to this um, when you go to eLearning. And you will choose the course. And right now there's nothing in the news item. What you're going to see there will be this video. And it's very important that you watch all videos in the course. There is a calendar of upcoming events, but it may not have all of them. So your best thing to do is when you enter the course, go to content. Now, each week or starting here, two week periods will be listed here and the assignments will be in them. I'll show you later. Right now I want to take you to the syllabus and other important information. And these are very important documents. Read the syllabus, read the outcomes and objectives, read the odds and ends. This is sort of, um, I didn't mention this before, but this is sort of um, how to, um, the how to of the course, contacting me, logging into the course being aware of deadlines, um, announcement page, what it's for, uh, what you need with course materials, finding assignments, and so on. 
Um, so that's an important document. My plagiarism policy is very important also to read. It's taking its time coming up, isn't it? Okay, let's see. Come on. You can do it. There we go. Um, I have the definition of pra plagiarism, how to avoid it, um, and what my punishments are, which is um, if you download paper from the internet, portion of a paper, or use a portion for one you wrote for a previous class, portion of someone else, it's stealing, it's plagiarism, and you fail. Um, I also give you a link to student sources from eLearning that'll tell you how to use the course site. You may have seen this in the orientation for eLearning, I'm not sure. And the eLearning help desk, so if you have a problem with a technical manner, you can click on this link and fill this out, your name, your email address, your phone number, the course, which would be English 262, Section 810, and then what's going on in the course that you don't understand technically. I'm um, talking about uh, why you can't see something in your uh, on the discussion board or how to use it, those kinds of things. Okay, that's the important stuff in that. The additional important information are just, you know, how to use appropriate language, and I'm talking about formal language, formal writing voice, getting rid of cliches, using Microsoft Word to create proper MLA format, uh, thesaurus functions, and common errors I find happening in this course that you need to avoid. Well, let's get started. Let's say you've read all this information in syllabus. You familiarized this with this stuff. You don't have to read it all right away, but be sure you know what's in here. Um, and just make sure that you have read this section thoroughly. Um, then you're going to go to the first assignment, which is from Monday, August 29th through Saturday, September 3rd. Assignments are um, always the same. Uh, all due dates are Saturday, everything begins on a Monday, um, that's the way it goes. Notice that you're going to begin needing, reading night because it has to be read by September 13, and you need to complete the assignments for the week below. Assignment for this week is pretty simple. You will, by Monday or Tuesday, write a description of what you already know about the Holocaust and what you would like to know. Minimum 500 words. Now, I don't count your words, but if but I can tell what 500 words are. Replies are due Saturday. Minimum of at least three, but you can talk to as many people as you wish. If somebody writes to you, what's the respectful thing to do? You write back to them. So you are um, required to write to each other um, and to uh, create a conversation. That's a really simple week, okay? And I give you a heads up of what has to be read next, okay? Now the next week starts September 3rd, and what you're going to find is that this week will not show up until Saturday the 3rd. It'll be blank for you when you go to this, okay? Um, but I have it, so I'm going to open it up for you, and you will see a movie that week which is already on the on the website um, and you'll take a quiz on it okay then remember I said you had to have uh, night read for September 12th again this doesn't start you're not going to see this right away but it starts the 12th and this is where we really kind of get down to it with uh, reading night um, taking a quiz and writing a paper I'm doing a lot of these uh, small assignments from August 29th to the 17th of September to see how you write, how you handle an online course, and to get you acquainted. Once I know that, I can put you in groups, um, and I can figure out who would work best with whom by then, 
and we start group work in September 18th. I know this was a long video. It'll probably be the longest that you will have for the course. Um, I'd watch it a couple times if I were you. And I would also um, be sure you review the information that I said was important, um, the syllabus information. Good luck in the course. Please, any questions, where do they go? Raise your hand for them. Oh, I wanted to show you that. Um, you would go to Course Tasks, Discussions, and there's the Raise Your Hands form right there. And that's where you place any questions you might have about the assignments. Um, you can also find any discussion boards here if you can't find the link in the um, course site. But if you go to content and you go to your course site, you're going to find everything you need right there under this link, under this here. Don't try to find everything by going, okay, I'll look in discussion, I'll look in Dropbox, I'll look in groups, I'll look in quizzes. Go here. It's really important that you go by these numbers. Okay? Um, again, any, any problems, enter it and raise your hand. And I wish you all a great semester.